Salvation Army, you probably think of bell ringers and red kettles. The organization, in fact, raises much of its money during the Christmas campaign, but the need lasts longer than the holidays. WCBI Selena Schaefer joins us in the studio to tell us how they are dealing with a recent slump in giving. Selena? Andrea, the need for food and clothing donations is at an all-time high. I was able to speak with several individuals who run food pantries and relief agencies, and this is what they have to say. What we make at Christmas, if we make enough, it carries us on through February or March. And then we, when we go from April on through the summer, it is the most difficult time. But the number of calls are increasing, and uh, that lets you know that uh, there is that food insecurity, and people are really, they're really hungry. There is a major food shortage here in Columbus, one that can only be solved by giving both cash and commodities. You can't just do that one time a year. Um, there has to be a constant giving because, like I said, one in four, one in five kids uh, uh, ha uh, suffer from uh, food insecurity. Between food, clothing, and other supplies, local relief agencies are seeing an all-time low in donations. They want the community to know that they appreciate their holiday donations, but to realize that they are helping those in need year-round. Food is by far our biggest need, and um, we do food on Tuesday and Friday, and we can have as much as 20 to 30 people here, families that need food. Columbus Salvation Army Major Alan Phillips says that in July alone, they have helped over 231 families. Keisha Williams is one of those families. First time we moved to Columbus, Mississippi, my mom, we were all together. It was my mom and her six daughters, all of us here. And she came here and they helped her with food. They even helped with uh, getting us in housing. So it, it, we were really thankful. Williams wants the community to know that a small donation can go a long way. You know, even when they do the little food drives to donate canned goods, dried products, it's really helpful. Even if you give like one bag or one can, it, it helps to contribute at least just that little bit. Now, members of the Salvation Army want the community to know that when donating clothes, if there are holes and tears in the clothing, to still donate them. They're able to sell the clothing to companies who want to make rags out of them. Andrea, back to you.